Hi folks and welcome to another DIY project. I have this Tac Star um, SGC598 microphone. A, um, a great microphone, no problems with it at all. Uh, the only issue it has, like probably most microphones out there, is it suffers from wind noise or wind howl and basically what I mean is uh, with the foam cover that's on it uh, wind passes across the microphone and creates a kind of a rumbling thunder -y type of sound and obviously if it's the breeze is strong enough it's going to obliterate the microphone's ability to pick your voice up and pick it up clearly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it, show you how to make a dead cat. Uh, basically what I got is this kind of hairy material uh, from an old cushion that's not been used anymore. And I basically cut out a rectangular piece like that that will cover the actual foam on the microphone and be like a kind of a sock so that it will look something like that right so it's basically a case of cutting it out big enough that it'll go around the foam and then turning it this way inside out if you like to call it that and stitch the two sides all the way down along Like so, get that in there, and then stitch the end of it and leave one end open. And the idea is you pull it on over the actual foam, the existing foam that came with the microphone, and it creates a wind shield or wind noise reducer. Right? And you can buy dead cats, they're not very expensive, but this is just a trick to show you how you can go about making your own. Um, if you have a cushion or a bean bag or something like that that you're not using anymore, that has hairy um, stuff on it like that, very easy cut a little section out and make your own. Okay, so what I have to do, as I said, is I have to fold it over like that and with needle and thread. I have to start sewing. So I'll pause the video for now and I'll come back to you when I have it sewed together and then we'll pull it onto the microphone and we'll go outside and we'll check and show you the difference between having it and not having it. Okay? Okay folks, so this is what we end up with. I, as I say, sew all down along here, or stitch all this edge down along here, and then across the end of it. Now that's it, inside out. <clears throat> so what you have to do then, now in order to make this easier for stitching, what I did was I wrapped it around the actual foam of the microphone uh, in position. So I wrapped the hairy dead cat uh, the reverse way around, like uh, so, with the this side out, the inside out. And that made it easier for uh, stitching it along. Just be careful that you don't pass the needle through the actual foam on the microphone, uh, or you'll have trouble getting it off. And then when you ha have it all stitched down along, then um, you just slide it off the microphone and turn it right way around that it's like so right and then you have to pull it onto the microphone itself and 
on it goes. And as I say, it basically looks like pulling on a sock. Make sure it's right down to the end to find where your stitching is. Turn that. Uh, that does make it all a little bit tighter on the microphone, but that's no problem. Pull it down securely. And it's right down again the base of it. And basically brush his hair. And that's it folks. One dead cat made. Next is to go out and check it and see does it make a huge amount of difference using it or not using it. And I reckon it should make a great difference to the overall ability of the microphone to pick up your voice. Okay, so we'll head out and give it a try. Okay folks, I'm outside and it is very very breezy here today. Uh, you probably can see the trees behind me. And this is with the microphone with no windshield on it. Um, I'm sure you, if you can hear me at all, uh, you can definitely hear the wind howl and the tonnery kind of effect it's having over the audio. But you can see the trees behind me there. Wow, but it's a stiff breeze there. So it is very, very, very windy. Now I'm gonna slip on the actual dead cat to see what difference it makes. And I'll just switch off the camera while I'm doing that. Be right back. Right, so here we go again. And this time I have the windshield on it. Um, I'm hoping there is a good difference between the two. I'm standing in approximately the same position and talking at the same level. The microphone is about the same distance from my mouth and there was a good stiff breeze there. I'll talk through these stiff breezes as well so that um, at least you'll be able to hear me and that the dead cat is making an actual difference. That it, the microphone has the ability to pick me up. Um, it's very cold here today and very windy. Not the kind of weather you will be out doing anything, certainly not vlogging. But anyway, that's the test, with and without. I think you'll agree, folks, it does make a great difference. It is very, very windy outside, as you saw, uh, but yet it made a huge difference. And you could hear the difference between not having it and having it on it. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that have, thank you. And happy microphone work. I'll chat to you again. Take care. Bye.